Tree mother is reuniting with her children after she almost wound up in prison. New on two, two news reporter Sarah Goldenberg shares how she got back on her feet. Does that tickle your belly? Christina Jackson's priorities changed when she became addicted to prescription drugs. Addiction is a it's a killer. I mean, it will ruin your life, destroy it totally. She hit rock bottom when she was arrested under the influence. Everything hit me when I was ripped away from the kids. You know, they were putting one cop car and I was putting another, and it was just like, you know, I hit my knees right at that point and begged them to just help me. Jackson faced a minimum of five years in prison. She was separated from her three young boys for weeks. That separation took its toll, especially on four year old Zayden. Who was hospitalized? One time I was at the hospital, and when I when I was always in bed, I was worrying about my mom. Instead of prison, the judge assigned Jackson to the Women in Recovery program. Not only is it rehab, but it's giving back and doing what we can and raising the leaders of tomorrow. That's our children, you know. Well, a healthy mom makes healthy children. Hi. Now she sees her children every other weekend. I think it's very, very important to be not only a mother, just to be a nurturing and loving and caring mother. Oklahoma has the highest female incarceration rates in the country. Women in Recovery offers an alternative for nonviolent offenders and is trying to break the cycle. It is a second chance, and I've seen women coming into the program that think they'll never see their children again. They don't even know where their children are. And we have so many that have reunified today, and it's just a beautifully functioning family. For Jackson, a second chance and a guiding hand were just what she needed. Now she's earning her GED and working two jobs. Right now, the sky's the limit for me, you know, when I had no hope this time last year. Most importantly, her sons are back in her life. Well, we're just happy. Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.